everyone. Welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah. Today, some of the life and stuff part because, you know, we all got to eat. Yes, this is the All Recipes Magazine flip through. Um, I am a subscriber to All Recipes Magazine. I pay for it, you know, my own cashy money. Um, so, no, not sponsored at all. I have taken it out of the plastic wrapping just to make it a little easier on me. And I noticed there was a free little gifty thing in there. Yes, slow cooker favorites. We will take a look at that as well. And there's something weird going on with this magazine. Okay, here's the front. All recipes. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, love that. That is all kinds of fruits and stuff. Okay, anyway, that's making me hungry. But on the back, it's upside down. All Recipes Community Choice Awards. So we may have to do some flipping. Anyway, this is the February slash March 2022. I did get it in a couple weeks ago. Things have been kind of crazy. Flip this back to the front. Um, we start off with an advert and then table of contents. Even their table of contents page is just pretty. You know, even if you don't like to cook, the photography that they do in these magazines is just beautiful and they're awesome to look at. Um, and it's another, matter of fact, it's a two page. It's a two for table of contents, more there. Giving you really a breakdown of everything that is in here. If you're just looking for something quick that you know you've seen before. Not only that, on page four, as you flip over, they have something in here they call the recipe index. You know, in a lot of the crochet magazines, they'll have a page that has all the things and you can just do a quick look. That's kind of what this is, but also on this, they tell you whether or not there is a how-to video on allrecipes.com, um, healthy pick, quick, 35 minutes or less, vegetarian or gluten-free or vegan or whatever. There are a lot of different guides on here, so you can kind of pick and choose what you're looking at. We have a uh, letter from the editor that always happens. Lots of adverts. Oh boy, lots of adverts. New and trending, which tells you about some different gadgets and things going on. That's interesting. Looks like a torture device and not just a whisk. Oh, that's the shadow. <laughs> I thought that was a second whisk, didn't you? It's an interesting shadow. Anywho, just all kinds of stuff. And there we go with some dumplings. And yes, there's a chopsticks. You don't have to use chopsticks to eat them, but I usually do. Because I'm just that kind of nerd. And yes, I bring my own chopsticks to a lot of restaurants. Because I am just that kind of nerd. Oh my gosh. Wow, this is a beautiful spread. Look at that. Holy cannoli, that is gorgeous. And you know, almost every culture has dumplings of some kind. And that is just really fun to me because everybody has thought to wrap something to make it small and hand sized. Oh, we've even got some kind of a cocktail or something. They're calling it a tangerine spritz. It's on another page, but there's the picture of it. But something like that, even if you don't drink alcohol, you can usually make the cocktail and just leave out the alcohol to make it yummy. Oh, and here they go. Yeah, from Amazon. They're telling you how to get some nice chopsticks and not just the ones uh, that they give out at the uh, Chinese restaurants because, yeah, I have some metal ones that are actually like Korean chopsticks, which I love. Right in the dishwasher they go. Beautiful. Easy, just like a fork, you know, that kind of metal. More adverts, more dumplings. Oh my gosh, yes. And dipping sauces make the dumplings, by the way. Wow, we got a lot of adverts in here today. Ooh. This is just about the kitchen, about lights in the kitchen. But uh, look at that fancy, bougie kitchen, y'all. All right. I mean, I can't afford that stuff, but you know. Oh, they're talking about some different cookbooks in there as well. More adverts. How to roast your veggies to make things even better. 
and how to do it right and about managing your heat and stuff. Always some good tips too. But that looks really good. I love those purple potatoes in there. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Ooh, starting a next section here called trending. Look at that. Beautiful. I love all the foods, obviously. Haya papaya, a whole section here on papayas. I guess that first page was just a uh, a sign of things to come. Easy pavlova with papaya. Oh my, that looks yummy. There's nothing easy about pavlova. I mean, you've got to whip the egg whites, you make the meringue, and it, it's just a pain. But it's delicious. Papaya bruschetta. Yes, please. Mm. Do you like papaya? I do. I like just about every fruit there is. The only thing it's weird, I don't like bananas. I know that's that's strange. It's like such a basic fruit, right? I love banana bread, but I don't like to eat bananas. And I don't like banana flavored ca candies and stuff. There's not much that I don't like, but, but that is good. Oh, and uh, you think you can't use papayas in savory dishes? Nay, nay. Look at that. That was seared scallops with spicy papaya sauce. Takes a total of about 25 minutes to cook. I'm guessing that's after you uh, manage to dismantle your papaya, because that usually takes a hot minute. Oh, they're going all out here. Baby back ribs with papaya marinade, y'all. Yes, please. And, okay, I'm gonna say this wrong, I'm sure. Some Tom Malacor, green papaya salad. It's a Thai thing, apparently. God, I'm hungry. I should have eaten before I did this, really. More adverts. Buckwheat Queen, it is an interview with Melanie Giovanzana, AKA the Buckwheat Queen, one of 50 million cooks who visit allrecipes.com every month. So she is someone who is like visits and probably contributes to all recipes. You can read all about her in her little interview here. That's pretty awesome. And yes, I have a sponge here that's kind of wet. El Cheapo sponge to help me uh, be able to turn pages. Oh, oh, we got something that's not papaya now. Here we go. Risotto con radicchio gorgonzola noche crema de balsamico. I'm sure I said some of that wrong because it's Italian, not Spanish. But... Oh, I love me some risotto. It just takes time. You got a baby risotto. Recipe for rejuvenation. Hmm. Look at those. This says, uh, Raghavan's Upama. And I'm sure I'm saying that wrong too. It says, this savory porridge breakfast fare in South Indian kitchens is my childhood favorite. A bit like polenta, but made with creamy wheat cereal. It brings absolute satisfaction during my down and out days. Huh. Well, that sounds super interesting to me. I mean, look at that. Okay, a bowl of not polenta. Oh, beef pho. I love a good bowl of pho. And to do it properly, you really, really have to do take a long time with the broth. There's one picture. And I'm going to flip it over so you can see some other pictures. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. And pho, if you didn't know, that is a Vietnamese soup. And the broth is really the star of that soup. And it is so wonderful when done right. Okay, this is one, it's a Puerto Rican dish, Puerto Rican comfort food. Uh, el sopao de pollo. Let's read about this here. It is a chicken and rice stew. It's a savory delight, nicely spiced, but not peppery hot. And it is as rejuvenating as a hug when you're feeling under the weather. So basically, it's Puerto Rican chicken soup. Mm, 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 mm. Oh my gosh, I have to make everything in this. Lind's Linguini con Pesto de, de Pistachi. It's uh, pistachios. 
Wow. Wow, Zers. Let's see what it says about there. As comforting to make as it is to eat, this pesto pasta is one that the splendid table host and cookbook author Lynn Rosetto Casper turned to often after her husband's death. And here's another one that's different. Oh. Bithia's Doro Wat. There's what you could put with it. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. Let me read this to you here. It says, with roots in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, Bithia Fukru Anderson grew up using handkerchief soft injera to mop up dorohuat, a rich, saucy, bone-in chicken stew, redolent of warm spices, ginger, and garlic. My aunties knew how to make it just right, Bithia says. It was a staple, not just for special occasions and holidays, but also on down and out days. Always served with a side of Ayib, our homemade Ethiopian cheese. <gasps> oh, yes. Wow. I'm all over that. And we've gone from, from savory to sweet. Sweet mashups. Mm. Okay. Oh, they're putting things together. Donut muffins. These tiny, tender, nutmeg-scented muffins are reminiscent of donut holes and so irresistibly tasty, it's hard to stop at just one plus no frying. Bake them in batches if your mini muffin tin doesn't hold all 24 at once. The batter holds up just fine. Wow. Okay, that looks pretty interesting. Cheesecake stuffed chocolate chip cookies you want some don't you yeah I know I do too cinnamon roll pancakes I've done something similar to that before myself but I always had cinnamon in my pancakes anyway because I just love cinnamon here's one called the cannoli cake roll oh and I love me some cannolis Wow, that looks yummy. That looks like a nice dessert to pop out if you're having people over. Now that people are starting to have people over again. I generally don't have people over because I live out in the boonies and I'm like, just now, I'll come see you. I don't know how to say this one. Choux a crackling, crackled cream puffs. The only reason I knew that first word was because I'm, a, I'm familiar with pot a choux. Oh, that looks interesting. Crackled cream puffs. All right. Oh, looks like we're going to see bagels. I don't know if we're making the bit. No, we're not making the bagels. We are topping the bagels. A pretty mandatory thing on our shopping list are everything bagels. They have the nice big ones either at the deli or something or we go to Aldi. Aldi's are really good. And we put a lot of stuff on that. But they're putting things like harissa feta or cheddar and bacon or salsa verde. Yes. Dinner fix. And I think we're going to be having some pizza. And they're calling this one hummus pizza. It's on page 63, which we are not there yet. Weeknight winners. Skillet steak. Skillet steak tacos I love tacos I love going out for tacos I don't mind making tacos at home tacos are just wonderful yes simple lemon herb chicken yeah that that that's always a winner I don't usually follow recipes I like read a recipe and get an inspiration from it because, you know, who likes following directions? That's why I don't bake. That is why I don't bake. Baking is so flippin' specific for a lot of stuff. Oh, here we go. Breaded air fryer pork chops. So basically, they're shake and bake in it and use it in an air fryer. Only it's homemade shake and bake. I mean, that's where that came from. People used to do that all the time. I made some fried pork chops a couple weeks ago. It was actually pretty good. Um, let's see, Perfect 10 Baked Cod and the hummus pizza that was on that other page. But this is the cod. 
like to make fish sometimes. I have to be in the mood for it to make it myself. I don't mind going out for fish and seafood. Making it myself though, it's just very delicate. Then we get into next level casseroles. I guess some people in the Midwest call that hot dish, but this one, this is pork and wild rice casserole. It says hands on about 25 minutes, takes total of about two hours because you got to bake it for a while. The thing with that is the wild rice. That stuff takes a while to cook um, before you can even use it. So yeah. Oh, eggplant moussaka. Ah, oh, yes. I'm actually attempting to grow some eggplant. I'm looking over there because that's where my little baby plants are. They're right over there. Maybe I'll have fresh eggplant. That would be awesome. Puff pastry, chicken, and leek casserole. The thing with leeks is they are known to keep dirt up in there. You have got to take them apart and soak them and wash them to get the dirt out. The grit. Because when they grow, they pull it up with them, which is kind of interesting. But yeah. Uh, Chef John's tuna noodle casserole. You've heard me talk about Chef John before. Um, he does foodwishes.com. He is hilarious and he makes a lot of good stuff. I am not usually a fan of tuna casserole. I will have it if it's done well and his recipe actually looks pretty good. I've seen it online. Um, but eh, I don't know. I don't mind a tuna steak. Seared, left rare in the middle. Yes. But to eat just, you know, hot tuna like tuna casserole, most of the time it's kind of yucky to me. But, you know, it can be done well. Oh, this looks delightful. That is a polenta casserole, Italian. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. If you don't know what polenta is, you're from the South. It's Italian grits, okay? It is Italian grits. But savory almost all the time. Oh, here's a bunch of different things. Let's see. Cauliflower steaks with gremolata. And don't poo-poo the cauliflower steaks. You can really make them so savory and so rich that they will replace a meat on a meal. And I don't, I mean, I'm not vegan or vegetarian, but I know that if we eat less meat, um... It's better for us, it's better for the environment, and all that good stuff. So we do have meals a couple of times a week that are just veggie-based. And cauliflower steaks is a big one. It's really good. you got to get a good sear, though. Roasted delicata squash rings. I have never tried that, but it looks really good. And winter greens with chipotle broth. That's the squash rings. That's the greens, obviously. You didn't think that was squash rings, did you? Did you? No. Um, looks pretty good, though. And here's one, Veg vegan, yeah, like a Vogon, right? Vegan General Tso's chicken, chicken, C-H-I-C-K-N. And they're using the uh, frozen meatless chicken nuggets, just trying to give it sort of that uh, Chinese takeaway feel, you know, for people that are doing the whole, we're not eating the meat thing. All right. I love, and you know what, General So's chicken is the, is so not authentic Chinese. I can't help it. I like it anyway. Chili paste. Okay. A little guide to different chili paste. That's pretty cool. Harissa Sambal Olek or Gochujang. Now, Gochujang and Gochugaru. Yes. I think it's funny. <laughs> They've got the pronunciation for Gochugaru, which is not the pronunciation for for the paste. The paste is gochujang, like they have there. Gochugaru are, are the peppers, are the, are the pepper flakes, which I have some I could show you right now if I wanted to get up out of this chair. All right, they also have a guide in here like they do every time of different menus to put together. If you're having a hard time putting stuff together, what am I gonna make, what am I gonna make? You can put it together there. A lot of little helpful things, just inspiration. That's why I enjoy this. I enjoy looking through and drooling over the pictures, of course. Oh, here we have a section called Good For You. Look at all that colorful food. If your food is colorful, it's probably good for you. And no, I don't mean like blue Kool-Aid, okay? Actual colorful food. Bean dip formula. Pinto jalapeno dip, black bean chipotle dip, or cannellini pepperoncini dip. I love a good dip. I love to 
make stuff and dip stuff in stuff. Does that make sense? All right. A section about hormones and how to eat to better take care of that. About hunger. Fat Tuesday feast. Oh, they, and they have a section here. They do this a lot. Where they give you two options. Indulge or go healthy. And even the go healthy ones look really good. I do like to indulge though. The indulge is Cajun crawfish and shrimp etouffee. Yum. And the go healthy is catfish etouffee. I don't know why the catfish is more healthy than the crawfish and shrimp. Ah, it's because the fish is much more lean. Okay. They give you both the recipes though. You can do both. You can swap things out. Indulge or go healthy for a hurricane or a brisk breeze for the different cocktails. And yes, cocktails can contain so many calories. Oh my God. Absolutely. All right. Into the family section, it says for kids, favorites, dumpling recipes, community choice awards is the flip section on the back. <laughs> that doesn't go in the healthy section, does it? <laughs> I'll take three, please. Mega birthday bash. The more is more birthday cake. Okay, y'all look at this. You need eight disposable pie pans. Chocolate cake mix, white cake mix, frosting, stir-ins, all the things. And they show it being made so that you can follow along. That is my cooking nightmare right there. And my eating delight. Hmm. Maybe I'll get a cake for my birthday this year. I didn't get one last year. Kind of made me sad. Uh, let's see. This is Favorites You Love. Cheney's Cheddar Biscuits. I love me some cheddar biscuits. They are so good. And those are actually easy to do when you do that. Because you don't have to roll them out. They're drops. I don't like having to roll stuff out. That To me, that's messy. Drop biscuits all the way. Instant Pot Guinness Corned Beef. I love using my Instant Pot for roasts that take a long time because they take a lot less time and you get a really good result. Irish Cream Creme Brulee. Mm, need a little torch for that. I need, I need to get a torch in the kitchen. <laughs> Me with a blowtorch. <laughs> kind of scary, isn't it? Oh, and I would love this. Baked salmon fillets with Dijon mustard. I love mustard. I could never make this for the hubby and he could never have it. He's actually allergic to mustard. So, yeah, none of that for him. But then I could eat all of it. But then he would have nothing to eat. That'd be bad. Okay. Party dumplings. And they show you, you can fry them. They're talking about frying them so that you can have them steamed as well, which is a good thing with dumplings. You have the, your uh, choice of things there. Um, air fryer soy ginger shishito peppers. Now it says here, shishito peppers look a little like jalapenos, but they aren't typically hot. Instead, they have a sweet smoky flavor. Shishito peppers are very nice. The thing is that I have learned from the pepper community, because you see me do my pepper tastings, right? that shishitos are mostly really mild, but about one in 10 will melt your face off. <laughs> so it's like pepper roulette, what you gonna get? And they give you the recipe for that tangerine spritz. Mm, that just looks really, really refreshing to me. Okay, oh, now I have to flip it upside down for the Community Choice Awards. Let's see if there's anything in there that we can get through quickly. Uh, of course, there's adverts in there. Dessert helpers, and they're advertising for all the brands that, that do all the things. Same thing with dinner helpers. and Oh, apparently this has won a choice award, the Tuna Creations. Actually, those Starkest Tuna Creations, the little packets, are pretty good. You want a quick, easy lunch, have that, have some crackers, you're sorted always in my cart some different things like Italian pantry staples and bacons and stuff. Okay, so it's people's choice, but it's people's choice of things that are advertised and sold places. And of course, right after that, they've got a big advert for bacon. <laughs> and a big advert on this one for a Reynolds Wrap because household helpers and different winners of what, you know, people like to use in the house. Yes, 
we have to wrap things up. That's the end of that. I thought that would be a longer section. Um, this is actually going to be a super long video. So I'm going to save the slow cooker favorites for another little video. No worries though. It will be coming out soon. I think I still have some time before my lunch break is over so I can record another one. Yeah, doing this on my lunch break. Y'all, thank you for coming by. I have, have no affiliation to this whatsoever, so for the fact that I pay for a subscription. Um, check them out though, allrecipes.com, All Recipes Magazine. It's always just an enjoyable flip through. I will sit down in the evening and look through this slowly and keep showing pictures to the hubby and he'll be like stop it you're making me hungry again and we just ate dinner that's what this book does to me every single time i do thank you for coming by if you're not subscribed please consider doing so i would love to have you around some more and uh like the video if you would and leave a comment down below do you subscribe to any recipe or cooking magazines if so which ones what else do i need to subscribe to Thank you and see y'all soon.